How can someone be sincere in their ibadah during Ramadan? And generally, what are the signs of sincere worship? Uh, <coughs> sincere worship is the worship uh, <coughs> that's accepted if it's done well. So, um, and then this verse. So, in order for uh, an act to be accepted, you need to have validity that you've done it in the way the Prophet taught us. A man came to the mosque, rushed through his prayer, and the Prophet told him, "Come for salli, stand and pray. For in the kalam to salli, because you haven't prayed, right? So it has to be valid, and and then at the same time, it has to be sincere. When you have those two, uh, it can be accepted." And uh, the Quran says, "Well, uh, Allah raises good deeds, righteous deeds." And so the ulama say that one of the signs of the acceptance of something is you're not thinking about, you don't think about it, like you can't even remember you did it. So it's it's gone, it's accepted, right? Unless obviously it's it's like a big, you know, if you've gone on a you know a, a one Hajj in your lifetime, you're not really likely to forget that, right? But it, the fact that it's not on your mind. Would be a good sign of acceptance. So anyway, so sincerity, sincerity <coughs> is <laughs> resolve in your heart. In your heart, you make your mind up. I'm doing this for Allah. So how to do it? This requires. Um, it may be difficult initially, um, and you might worry about this thought and that thought. But what it requires is a moment's focus in your mind, in your heart. Oh Allah. I'm doing this just for you, right? And you can just summarize it. If you, if you want to, every time you're going to start an act of worship, whether there's people there or not, you say, oh, Allah, just for you. And just keep saying that. Oh, Allah, just for you. Oh, Allah, just for you. So that one moment when your heart, you you turn your heart, oops, you turn your heart to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you say, oh, Allah, I'm doing this just for you. Accept it from me. Make it easy for me, right? <coughs> which we get from the dua of, uh, the duas that have been yeah, narrated by the ulama for the hajj you know they say the person says that he's intending a hajj in umrah fataqabbalhu minni uh li wa taqabbalhu minni so make it easy for me and accept it from me so once you've made that one firm solid intention proceed right do the work <coughs> and uh any thought that comes to you afterwards or so-and-so is looking and so-and-so is watching and yeah, you know, I should extend my sajda and all of this, ignore it. Don't let it bother you. And just say to yourself, I made my intention, that's my intention. And everything else that comes afterwards, just let it come and let it go. Like if, you know, if you live on, uh, you know, if you live uh, <clears throat> on a main road, and are you bothered by, by the cars that come <laughs> and drive past your house? You're not, right? It's just people going about their lives. And they're doing what they do. Cars, are, cars will car, right? Cars will drive about. So the thoughts after that, if they come and let them come, don't you make your mind up, okay, I'm going to do this to show off in front of him. No, that's the riyadh, then that's showing off. So focus your heart on Allah. Oh Allah, just for you, great. Um, when it comes to seeking knowledge, there's a beautiful intention <coughs> wrote by, um, uh, penned by Imam Abdullah Al Haddad, uh, who we mentioned earlier. No way to ta'alum wa ta'alim wa tazakur wa tazkir. You could Google that and you could find that. That's an excellent one. Uh, <coughs> so um, that's what you do. Focus your heart for a moment on Allah, and that's your intention. Anything else that comes afterwards, ignore it. Ignore it. And if you have a regular practice that you do, do it. Do it. So, you know, you have a practice that, you know, that has a set time. I'm going to do this. And there just happens to be some people with you. Um, you're just driving somewhere and you have a, a, a dua that you make or some dhikr and they're there. Don't, don't avoid doing it just because they're there. Right. Do it. Do it. Forget them. Right. Say, so I'm going to do it for Allah. Focus the heart. Oh Allah, just for you, and do it anyway. La ilaha illallah, Muhammad, Rasulullah.